Hello and welcome back to the Desert Stories. This is Sunita Sharma. Let's have a look at the headlines. People in Oman have welcomed the decision to provide an additional 15% in electricity subsidies during the summer months to customers who have two or less accounts. His Majesty Sultan Haitham bin Tariq Al Said has issued on Tuesday, 31st May, a directive to provide subsidy from May to August during a meeting with the Council of Ministers. With temperature across many areas in the country soaring above 40 degrees Celsius, air conditioners are left on for large part of the day in many homes and offices, leading to high electricity bills that bite into people's spending power. King Hamad Isa Al Khalifa of the Kingdom of Bahrain received Khalid Hilal Al Mawli, Chairman of the Shura Council at Sakir Palace on Wednesday. During the meeting, Al Mawli conveyed greetings and best wishes of His Majesty Sultan Haitham bin Tariq Al Said to King Hamad and the people of Bahrain. King Hamad expressed his appreciation for His Majesty's pioneering role in promoting bilateral relations. He also lauded Oman's renewed renaissance led by His Majesty. The meeting reviewed the historical relations between Oman and Bahrain. Greece and Saudi Arabia agreed on Tuesday on the main terms to set up a joint venture to lay a fiber optic data cable that will link Europe with Asia. The East to Med data corridor, an undersea and land data cable that will be developed by MENA Hub owned by Saudi Arabia's STC and Greek telecoms and satellite applications company TTSA, Greece Power Utility Public Power Company PPC and Cyprus Telecoms Operator CYTA will also hold a stake in the project pending final corporate approvals. The Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement signed between the UAE and Israel will help support the global supply chain and food security, a top official told the Emirates News Agency. The CEPA comes at a critical time for the global economy. The world is beginning to emerge from the global pandemic, but challenges remain, not least as conflict and inflation threaten to stall the global recovery, said Dr. Thani bin Ahmed Al Saudi, Minister of State for Foreign Trade. The UAE-Israel CEPA will help facilitate global supply chain efficiency, including for agriculture and food products, which would have an impact on food security. It would also help facilitate the movement of natural persons, especially the business community, the minister explained. That's all for today. Stay tuned for more desert stories. Till then, take care. Thank you.